tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about JUnit 5 test suits. So here we'll understand what is test suits in JUnit 5 and after that we'll understand how we can use a test suit uh, to run different test uh, in JUnit 5 based on the some filtration criteria and all. Right? So let's just start. So first of all, as we know that we can use JUnit 5 test suits uh, to run tests uh, spread into multiple test classes and different packages. So let's say you have a uh, retain test case, test classes into uh, test or test classes into different packages or different classes and you want to run all these test cases uh, either you want to run all the test cases or based on the, uh, or based on the certain criteria we want to include or exclude some test cases then definitely we can use test suits right. Now JUnit 5 provides out of box two annotations first add select packages and second add select classes to create test suits right. So using add select packages you can specify the different packages where you have written your all test classes and using add select classes you can specify the uh, all the uh, collection of all or uh, list of classes there uh, basically you have written your test cases right. Now additionally we may use other annotations for uh, filtering uh, test packages, classes, even test methods. So if you want to do some kind of filtration criteria whether uh, you want to run the selected test cases or you want to run the uh, uh, test classes within the uh, particular package or some packages or particular classes then those kind of filtration criteria also you can apply using test suits, right? So let's uh, jump into the Eclipse and there we'll understand this concept. So before proceeding, let me show you the source file. So I have one myutils class. There I have one, one method, add method, which takes two numbers, adding it and returning. Now I have, now uh, uh, before looking into the test classes and uh, test source, uh, let me show you the what are the dependencies I have added in my pom.xml. So in pom.xml, of course, you have to add first of all Jupyter Jupyter API, which provides all the uh, annotations as well as related classes to write Jupyter test cases in Jupyter five. Then you have to add Jupyter Jupyter engine, which gives which basically gives us the facility to run the uh, Jupyter test case at runtime. Right? That's the implementation of uh, uh, Jupyter engine. And then finally, we have to add a Jupyter platform runner to write test quiz unit, uh, all the annotations and related classes are presented over here and a scope unit to specify at run, right? This all, everywhere I have specified a scope as run, test, so because we require this uh, dependency for uh, testing purpose, right? Apart from that, we have to add two uh, basically plugins inside the build section. Uh, first plugin, Maven uh, compiler plugin, and second, you have to add Maven Surefire pl uh, plugins. If you want to, uh, if you want to generate uh, your uh, test case report uh, using Maven lifecycle, like uh, using test lifecycle, then you have to add these two plugins as well. So that's all about the dependencies. Now let's jump into the test classes. So I have two package: first com.kkjava tutorials and second com.kkjava tutorials dot uh, package one. So this is the sub package and this is the parent package. So in this package, I have a, a myutil test, right? And I have given the display name. So when you run this test class, then instead of this class, uh, class uh, display name would be this one, right? That's why that's how we used to add display name to customize the test class or test method name. And apart from that, I have this lifecycle method. I don't want to explain you again because I have explained these things in many videos. Apart from that, we have a three test uh, methods for two test methods I have given the tag as dev because I want to run for this dev environment uh, based on the filtration criteria in test uh, suit and after that again we have a uh, basically lifecycle method now I have one uh, more test class it's called uh, testing i stack and uh, uh, display name I have given i stack and within that I have one test method right which basically doing the instantiation of a stack and within this test class i have an internal class when test so this internal class again have another internal class if you look into that again after pushing this internal class so in genuit 5 you can write a, 
uh, nested test means test uh, class inside the another test class right so we can write that that is the basically uh, facility given by the genuit 5 and here i have given a tag dev so this internal class i want to run for the only uh, dev built based on the filtration criteria you know, using this tag right so that's all about it again for internal class also i have given the display name like uh, when new and another internal class display name i have given after pushing an element into the stack right now let's come into the uh, test suit class so first test to, to, to first test suit class will understand so here you can see uh, first of all when you want to create a uh, let's say if a class represents the test suit then you have to use add run with annotation right and second thing you have to provide parameter as junit platform if you, if you look into the junit platform it belongs to the junit platform runner and that's what i told you to you have we have to add this dependency right so when you say add run with and you have provide junit platform dot class that means this class represents the test suit right after that you can apply like add select packages and there you can specify the package name with comma comma separated comma separated package name if your test class belongs to the different package right i have only two packages so i have given the this package and but here in this test case i have used exclude packages so whatever test cases uh, which is in this sub package uh, in this sub package that i want to exclude that's why i have given the exclude packages so uh, when i run these test cases then only test cases which is uh, which is falling under this package uh, is going to run but uh, test cases which is falling under this package is going to exclude let me show you so here i go to the junit and if i expand it then here you can see uh, uh, if i look into the this is uh, sorry test cases this this is a display name of uh, my class right which is coming over here right and within that we have a three test cases so all these three test cases ran right and all these three test cases has been passed but uh, test cases which is lying under uh, this pack this package uh, did not run right and that's how we can do the filtration criteria based on uh, uh, based on the exclude package right oh sorry where is the yeah, this is the class so once you exclude the package here of course you can specify one and many packages so if you want to specify many packages then what you can do here you can do a value equals to something like this and if you want to give the another package just put the comma and put into the double quotes another package right of course here also you can specify the multiple packages right so here you you have seen how we can exclude uh, some of the test cases falling under the certain pack package sub package right now let's move into the another test suit so here uh, here again i have a select uh, pa packages this one and i would like to include i i would like to include the test cases under this package only right so let's see how we can do that so of course here you can specify one and more package again so how we can do that you have to write value equals to in parenthesis you can apply multiple package now if i run this then let's see how test cases are running now here is the result and here you can see so what i have done only see in this package this is the parent package and this is the child package so here i have after specifying select packages what i have done i have done at included package so only i would like to include the test which falls under this package right so this test case is not going to run right only only test case is going to run which falls uh, sorry this test case is not going to run right only test cases which falls under this package is going to run and that's what we have given the uh, condition in um, our test set test suit right so here you can see so in this uh, package we have a uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, test class this one right and for that all test case has been executed if i go so here if i click then directly will 
sorry it is not navigating so if i click over here then here you can see on class level a package is coming under that we have a one test so that is uh, for instantiation in a, inside that when new if you expand when new then internal test cases is coming and first test case is is empty which is coming over here right and then after throws empty exception if you try to pop up element from the empty stack then uh, then this will throw exception what and same we are expecting using assert throw so all those test cases uh, ran inside this uh, class inside this sub packages but super package test case uh, is not executed and that's what we want to wanted using this uh, uh, test suit right now let's move to the next next test suit here you can see what we are doing so again here i have selected the package parent package and then here i would like to include i would like to basically execute uh, so here i do not have a my tag but dev tag so here first of all i would like to only include uh, test cases which is having tag as dev right so here we have only uh, three test cases which is having tag as dev first of all if i look into this test this test we have a two test cases right having tag with dev and in second test case here here we have uh, tag as dev for this internal class so in this internal test class whatever test cases we have that is going to run right so let me show you if i run this and here is the result if i go to the junit tab then here if i expand then here you can see in this test class this class we have only two test having tag as div right there are three test cases but two there are two tests which is having tag as div so these two test cases ran successfully right with display name you can see over here right but if you look into the this class uh, this test case will not include right so this test did not include it uh, if i expand right so inside this test we have an internal class is called uh, when new having tag as div so inside that whatever test case you have within this internal class all the test case has executed right you can expand and you can see the test case is executed within the tag as div right so that's all about how we can include or exclude based on the certain tag so similarly if you want to exclude uh, this tag uh, these uh, test cases based on this tag then simply you can apply at exclude tag now at this time uh, within this package when i said this package means this when you specify any package then sub packages uh, test cases is also going to execute so whenever uh, test should find uh, any test case having a tag as div that is going to exclude and but the rest of that uh, test cases is going to uh, execute so if, let me show you if i run this then here you can see if i go to the JNet, then all the test case which previously was executed now at this time it is excluded right because we have given the excluded so if you look into this uh, test case then there is only one test case right so these two test cases has been excluded right but this test case is executed because this test case does not have a tag as div right and that's why it included similarly same concept apply for this test class right now let's move to the next uh, test suit class so in this test suit class is pretty simple so here i have given the packages right here we can specify a uh, different package and sub package if you specify only package the sub packages are automatically going to include but if you want to include the sub package explicitly that also you can do so here already i have seen at uh, select package there you can specify the all the packages with comma separated where your test cases are written now if i uh, run this then this is going to include all the test cases which is falling under this these packages right here you can see all the test cases has been executed right now similarly if you want to 
uh, execute your test cases uh, for uh, a specified classes right then you may use add select classes and there you can specify your all the classes comma separated right here comma should not be needed right if i run then this is going to run all the test cases falling under these two classes if i go here here you can see all the test classes falling under uh, this package uh, ran successfully if you specify only one class then this is going to run test cases for this class only right let me show you so if i go to the package here you can see at this time test classes belongs to test method belongs to this classes only executed right so guys that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we learned how to basically execute a different test method which is spread across the all the classes and different packages using test suite right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial